About my size, it's probably an ideal figure. Looks like they're going to come back over the sleepers again. I'll dare you. a bit later in the afternoon. Slightly heavily armoured, moves slowly and protects the infantry troops walking behind it. It's not actually designed to be a fast tank that chases down enemy tanks. The main gun is, is what they call a two-pounder, which equates to about a 40mm projectile. The actual brass shell is about a foot long, 40 millimetres in diameter. Uh, ideal for blowing up machine gun and emplacements or bunkers, etc. Uh, the later model um, tank, of which this is actually one of those, is fitted with a 3-inch howitzer gun, which is a much bigger and more powerful gun. I think we might be even going to put her on the sled, are we? <laughs> So these two Leyland motors both run at about 90 horsepower each. So combined through the cross drive, you've got mo both motors are driving the, um, the final drives. Uh, so in theory, it's rated at about 180 horsepower. A tracked machine actually pulls a lot better than what a wheeled tractor does. So um, the, this, this should, the tank should pull absolutely anything we could load on that sled. But you're certainly looking at 180 Horse, draw bar horsepower plus probably nearly double that given the track scenario. Thank you. 